Alright, this is a quick tutorial on how to override emotes in VR chat, like the um, backflip or wave. Uh, before we start, you, you need to know that if you have a non humanoid character, like for example, I have a toucan, you cannot override emotes for whatever reason. I'm just That's just how it works. But for a character like Unity Chan, it's perfectly fine because she's humanoid. Um, so to begin, you want to have your character in the scene with the SDK imported. Make sure you have an avatar descriptor set up with the values you need uh, for your character. And then you also need this animator. Your character should ha already have it by default, but if it doesn't, um, you can you know, click add component and then go to animator. But mine already has one. You wanna make sure the avatar is set up properly and we'll set up this later. So, uh, first we need to go to VRChat SDK, then to examples, and then to sample assets, then animation. Now, there's a bunch of animation controllers here. Uh, we want the one with the plus in the bottom left called Custom Override Empty. Uh, once you find that, hit Control D after clicking on it, and rename that to, I don't know, Unity Chan Override. You can name it whatever you want. Um, Control D duplicates it. Um, we just want to duplicate it and drag it out so we have our own version of that that will change so we don't mess with the SDK's version. Now this uh, override controller basically it has all the already made animations that VRChat comes with like you know the walk forward, the fall, the emote. Um, all of these are set to none on the right, that means we're not overwriting them. So if you change any of these, then instead of using the default, it'll use the one you put in. Um, now we want to go to Unity Chan, we want to add this this uh, override thing we just duplicated into the custom standing anim slot of the avatar descriptor, and also into the controller of the animator. Um, once we've done that, we can go to the animation tab and you'll see all these default animations are here, but we have no way to create new ones. Um, that's because this um, is an override controller and all you can do is drag animation clips into here. Now the trouble is, how do you create the animation clips if you can't actually add an animation here? Um, there's a workaround, it's kind of weird, but what I do is I duplicate the character, move it over. Um, this is the character we'll use to make the animations, and then we'll delete it later. So this is just a temporary character. So we'll call this like temp unity gen, just to make sure we don't forget. Now, in this one, we want to change this animator to our own animator. So we'll go to create, right click create, and then uh, animation controller and then we'll just name this temp and then drag that into the controller for the animator she might move over but she just moved back to the origin I think um, the reason we're doing that is so we can go into this temp unity chan go to the animation tab and now we have a button to create an animation clip so just for this example I'm gonna create a very very simple flip animation like I mean super simple um, she's just gonna literally flip upside down with no regard for physics and once you finish your animation it should already show up in the um, assets folder where you saved it uh, there was a prompt I didn't explain sorry uh, so you have your flip animation here. Let me just exit animation mode. There we go. Now that clip you want to put into the Unity Chan override. So to do that, you click on the Unity Chan override. In the inspector, you'll see a bunch of animations here. We're going to want to override emote 1 through 8, or any of them, I mean. Not, not all of them. Um, so we'll just drag this into emote 1. Um, what you'll see in game, the name of the emote will be called what the name of the animation is. So ours will be lowercase flip in game once we've overrided this. 
Now that we've done that, we can delete the temporary Unity Chan and delete the temporary controller. Um, you could keep it there if you want to keep making animations. It doesn't really matter. As long as you remove the avatar descriptor, it shouldn't upload to VRChat. Now, we've got that. Um, now, all we need to do is go into the SDK and upload this. Um, it says my avatar isn't humanoid. I believe that's because... One second. There's a weird bug with this. I just need to open and close this for some reason. So now it should say my avatar is humanoid. Yep. I'm not sure why Unity Chan does that. But whatever. Um, so you need to build and publish. And I'll cut to once we get in game. Okay. So now we're in game, and I believe I have the right an avatar chosen. For some reason, I made two when I was testing this. Just make sure you have the right avatar chosen. I do. You can see my avatar is moving around properly. Um, when we open up the emote menu, we should see right here it says flip, and the rest of them are just normal. So if we click flip, I'm going to do a dumb animation. Click clap, it still works. Die, still works. And that's it. 